Hey guys, Bam McDonald here, and this is my custom Lego Boba Fett from episode 6. And yes, this is episode 6. I will get into the details why it is from episode 6 in the showcase part of the video. And I have a special guest with me, and his name is Jumpy Jack Studios. And so yes, I'm doing another collaboration with him. We're going to have this kind of line of series kind of videos um, sort of thing. And uh, so yeah, so again, like I said, guys, this is my Boba Fett. I work super hard on this. And uh, I really want to show you guys this and uh, do the collaboration with him. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this minifigure showcase. Okay, guys, so here is the minifigure. This is my custom Lego Boba Fett. And uh, I really want to show you guys this, guys, um, for a while now. I never got the chance. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight on to this minifigure. As you guys can see right here on the boots, they're just plain Lego Boba Fett uh, printed legs that I had to paint because... Episode 6 Boa Fett uh, has light gray instead of the blue-ish kind of tint to it. And also he has like this, the scarf piece that he has right there is actually supposed to be this color. Uh, in the in Episode 5 it's like a light tan and stuff like that. So that's why I had to paint it and stuff like that to make it Episode 6 because, you know, I like Episode 6 version better. But anyways guys, yes, and the belt is also sculpted as well right there. And the little chest piece, I just use a Mandalorian body to sculpt onto that and uh, give it that 3D effect right there and then also on the shoulder pads right there they're also uh, with metal actually I had to use metal plates and stuff like that and just paint them the color that it's supposed to be and the little wrist gauntlets thing right there that is the flamethrower which I'll show you guys the flame piece I have for in a second and then also the wrist rocket as well right there and the jetpack is actually sculpted onto a Lego Battlefront jetpack right there and that's really cool. So, uh, yeah, and the helmet is also sculpted as well onto a normal Boba Fett uh, headpiece uh, and stuff like that. Really looks really good. And uh, painted the proper colors because it's actually a lot darker in uh, the actual thing. So, here is the rangefinder, goes down, looks pretty cool. And also the gun airbrushed with a lot of sand color and gunmetal and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get straight on to the fire piece right over here let's put the fire piece on him hopefully it won't take that long to do because it does take some fidgeting around to do when i got first try um but anyways yes here's the fire piece looks pretty cool add some blue effect to that so it has like some of that heat effect and uh it's more accurate that way but yeah i can show this in the intro part looks pretty cool but anyways guys yes i'm gonna ask jack's final thoughts and opinions on this minifigure so once again, I want to say great job, Jordan, on this minifigure. Um, several great elements that I really, really like that he incorporated is um, he's steering into the more realistic areas of minifigure, um, I guess, uh, uh, making different minifigures. So I like how he used the, the different staple that he used for the viewfinder, and then he used the actual um, clay and glue to make that, that realistic fire, and um, just a lot of realistic elements that he made in this minifigure. Um, I loved how he made the the top come off and just actual um, be able to use the helmet and um, the belt the torso is all sculpted and um, the gun was really well well painted and uh, the, uh, once again the great scuffed up look really adds to this minifigure so that's my final thoughts and opinions uh, and yeah so thank you Jack for that uh, it really means a lot and uh, yeah so I guess we can close off this minifigure showcase for now guys hope you guys did enjoy this minifigure showcase so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this mini figure showcase. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.